is your girl Sin. I am officially back from my break. Yes, I'm back, you guys. So if you do want a personal reading, I am now taking clients um, in the March, in the month, I should say, of February. Um, so if you do want to book a reading, it will be linked down below. Um, if you cannot find any openings in February, please book in advance. So for March. Now, um, I do have an online store, so if you do want to shop with me, um, it'll be somewhere on the screen, but also linked down below so you guys can get some of the spiritual items that I do have on my website, which is mainly a lot of spiritual goods, but I also sell planners, affirmation books, this deck, which I will be using today, which is the deck that I have created myself, um, that will be in the description box as well. Now, um, I do have a Patreon where I do focus on love i do focus on protection and manifesting money that will be also linked somewhere here so you guys can also join my patreon um, where there's exclusive content and they do see all the youtube videos the zodiac readings first over on that platform so if you are very curious and you can't wait like me <laughs> you can see them early on a patreon um, so this this reading today is going to be for all the zodiacs so we are going to start off with Aries and it will be all time stamped down below as well so you guys can find it easier so let's do Aries the bottom of the deck is the justice card so you have the magician the eight of cups and the wheel of fortune right off the bat I'm seeing one aspect of your life ending and a new beginning is coming in for you Aries I do also feel like you are tired of someone's game, someone's manipulation. Someone may have been trying to kind of more so mislead you um, or trying to kind of play you for a fool. So I feel like you're getting tired of that dynamic that you may have with a particular person and you're deciding to either walk away from a pre-existing relationship um, or if you are single, this may be someone giving you some sort of mixed signals and you're kind of tired or fed up with it and you're ready to kind of move on to the next contender. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like that is what's happening like someone is just like I'm tired of these games I'm tired of this back and forth I'm tired of this cycle over and over again I am going to go elsewhere I feel like this major change is something that is part of your destiny something that's also part of your fate so this is why um, this is happening like it has to happen this is some sort of lesson that you were supposed to learn because the justice card it feels like someone is finally getting their karma or some sort of karma has been fulfilled if you may have been in some sort of karmic relationship with a particular person now mainly the signs that are coming out are Gemini I'm also getting uh, sorry water cancer Pisces Scorpio um, and possibly a Libra so a lot of air and water but I feel like there seems to be like you letting go or finally coming to some sort of like higher understanding about a situation that you may have been. Now, if this is nothing to do with your love life, this could be like as far as your career, like you are finally realizing that you deserve better. You're finally realizing that you're needing to go into a different direction, whether that be entrepreneurship or whether that be going into a, the next field or some sort of new path as far as your career that you would like to take. So there seems to be some sort of big changes that are happening for you around this time, Aries. All right, let's get into... Taurus. Oof, my nose is itching. All right, let's see. Taurus, Taurus. All right, Taurus. All right. The bottom of the deck is the Four of Cups. So let's see. For you, Taurus. Okay. You have the King of Pentacles. You have the Nine of Pentacles. And then you have the Chariot. Off the bat, you might be leaving a Cancer. 
<laughs> just kidding for you that for you um taurus um or it could be any uh, other water sign like cancer pisces scorpio um but i, I feel that there seems to be like walking away from a situation but i do feel like someone is now going to be newly single or someone feels newly single let's say for example you are in a relationship but in your mind you have already left the relationship so someone are, may already consider themselves themselves single um i do also feel like a lot of you are paying attention to your finances a lot of finances is coming up for you taurus a lot of you are, are possibly saving up some sort of money to walk away from a situation so if you're going through some sort of divorce this could be possibly some sort of alimony that you're um already expecting or you're already in your mind oh, this is so wrong but there may be people who, for some of you guys who are married i feel like some of you are already preparing or calculating your funds as if you had already left this person you're just like damn if i were to divorce this person right now if i were to leave this person right now i would get this percentage or i would get this amount of money like i feel like someone's already like putting things into motion before actually walking away just yet so someone is being very calculative someone is also being very meticulous when it comes to their finances i feel like someone is going through their finances with a fine tooth comb um i do also feel like someone is paying attention so there seems to be like someone is being very very calculative in their approach and how they want to spend their money or invest their money so there seems to be a lot of finances coming out for you guys i feel like you guys are really really paying attention to your finances like i feel like your finances right now are very important to you um i feel like you're very much so in like grind mode like i feel like right now it's just like let me get my funds together let me get my funds together let me let me build let me build so there seems to be a little bit of like you being very constructive but i also feel like this is like paying attention um to your money and and what you want to do with it and and kind of like planning out your next 10 years is what i'm seeing for you taurus um i do also feel like maybe a cancer pisces scorpio is maybe possibly trying to get your attention or wanting more attention from you or needing something from you or just being very emotional because they can kind of from afar see you like building your life and being established and kind of more so being so driven and ambitious i feel like sometimes they wish that they had a little bit of that spirit in them because i just feel like someone may be possibly going through a very hard time emotionally but i feel like with you tours you're just like i don't have time to pay attention to that there's we got bills <laughs> like, you know what I mean? we got bills we have a life that we want to build like we have something that we were we had a dream or a goal that we wanted to get accomplished and i feel like your partner may be possibly going through a lot emotionally and you're just like hey snap out of it we don't have time for this and if you're in this if this isn't happening to you you're completely single this may be something that may be happening around you or you may be feeling like you're wanting to move forward with someone, but maybe they're just coming out of a relationship or coming out of a situation. And it's just like you really want them to pay attention to get over what's going on with them emotionally so that you guys can move forward. But I feel like someone's just in some sort of an emotional rut. I did not mean to blabber so long for you, Taurus. Oh my God, let's get into Gemini. I'm making these a little bit, purposely making these a little bit longer because I feel like I've been away from you guys for so long. <laughs> It was a month, but it felt like a year. <laughs> so, so I'm purposely making them a little bit longer and giving you guys a little bit more um, information and hindsight, you know? All right, so let's do Gemini. Gemini. All right. For you, Gemini. When I'm, oh, my God. Okay, so Aries got this too, so maybe you need to go watch the Aries video. But the Magician, you have the Three of Wands and the Hermit. But at the bottom of the deck is the Three of Swords, which I forgot to show you guys. But I feel that a lot of you are cutting through a lot of crap. I do also feel like there's some sort of decision that you're going to have to make or this could be possibly someone that may be coming towards you having to make some sort of decision um this may have been an ex or someone that may have hurt you or broke your your heart in some sort of way there may have been some sort of emotional letdown between you and this person but i just feel like someone is at a crossword about making some sort of decision um this could be like an ex uh an ex that may be having to choose between you and someone else and they're having to make make some sort of decision about who they would like to move forward with um or this could be you gemini like you have 
two people that you can move forward with, but one of them may be possibly someone from your past or an ex or someone that may have, you guys may have broken up or separated in the past. Because there seems to be some sort of emotional connection that you may have with this person. But I just feel like there may have been some sort of um, separation. Or you, there is, for some reason, you guys had to kind of separate um, whether that be involuntarily or voluntarily because you know sometimes spirit be pulling you from people that you're not meant to be with and spirit was just like look I pulled you apart from that person like but hey this person's coming back around so I feel like universe is kind of like testing you so there is some sort of lesson that is that you're having to learn maybe that lesson for you is that you don't ever want to be in a third party situation because I do have the three of wands and the three of swords so there could be possibly some sort of third party um, relationship that may be possibly coming towards you meaning that wherever this person is walking into your life they are still attached to someone else in some sort of way whether that be emotionally whether that be financially whether that be anything um i just feel like someone is possibly still stuck someone i'm getting like oh my god what is that movie called oh my god what is that movie called it's a japanese movie well it's it's not a japanese movie but it's a movie where um this guy's a photographer him and his friend took advantage of a woman who was in asia um and they accidentally killed her um so the asian woman was very attached to the photographer and even through her death she was still leached onto him spiritually i forgot what movie that is if y'all know what that movie that is please leave, leave it down below um i forgot oh, what that movie is called but i just feel like someone is still attached or still codependent to someone else so i feel like i feel like a codependent energy is coming towards you gemini i did and, I, and I, I say all of this to say just to be careful because i just feel like someone is still feeling obligated to someone else but they still want to be with you or they still feel very passionate or they still feel very um attached to you in some sort of way like it just seems to be like a relationship that has a hard time breaking free from or this is like that one person from your past that you just can't seem to let go but unfortunately they are in a relationship or they are still attached to someone else so be careful gemini let's do cancer I feel like for um, Gemini, that reading was like a foreshadow. So just, just be careful. I don't like that. <laughs> All right, Cancer. All right, at the bottom of the deck is ooh, Leo, Strength. Might be dealing with the Leo. All right, so you have the Five of Cups. You have the Sun. You have the Ace of Cups. So what I'm seeing for you, Cancer, I'm seeing that there seems to be you being very emotional. Um, I do also feel that there seems to be, if you're not the one that's being emotional, um, it could be someone around you that may be coming off very emotional. Someone is feeling, it's go either going through some sort of depression and it could be you cancer or it could be someone around you that you may be dealing with. Um, I feel like someone is a high functional de depressed Someone who's depressed, but highly functional. I forgot, is it called a highly functional depressant? Depress, depressor? Depress Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. Someone just like a highly functional depression. Depressor. See, I just said it again. Y'all know what I mean, though. <laughs> um, I just feel like someone is just going through the motions, but they're really depressed. Or there seems to be something that may have, some sort of trauma that may have happened in their life. Um, and they are still grieving in some sort of way. Um, I do feel like there's an opportunity to, that's coming around to kind of like boost your spirits or to boost your energy. Um, but I feel that it's kind of like 
someone who who has always been gifted materialistic things like if materialistic things were easy to kind of like get but i feel like it was just some sort of like short term satisfaction someone is possibly questioning like under, like they're trying to understand what the meaning meaning of life is meaning that they're realizing that emotionally yes I mean, physically, yes, they have all the things that they acquire. They have all the things that they they need. But I feel like someone is still depressed. I don't know why um, Robin Williams came into mind. I don't know why he, he came into mind. But I just feel like someone on the outside seems pretty happy. Um, but on the inside, they are dealing or battling um, through something dark. Um, check on your strong friends if this is not you. This could be possibly people around you that may be going through a really hard time and, and trying to find their way out of a dark place. Um, so, I, sorry, Cancer. I don't know why that was so so deep, but that's what I'm getting for Cancer. All right, let's get into Leo. All right, Leo, let's see. Okay, that's too many cards, but I'll take it. Let's see. It's out of cards. <laughs> the end of the deck is the Knight of Cups, though. Alright, so I'm seeing the Chariot, the Hierophant, the Eight of Swords, and the Page of Cups. Oh, my Page of Cups flying from my hand like that. Um. I feel like someone is going to get some sort of text message that is going to possibly have them stuck for days. Like, someone's just like, I don't even know how to reply to this. Like, let me just sit on it. Or a phone call. You know, like missing a call from someone that you did not think that you were ever going to hear from or expect from. I do also feel like a lot of you are doing a lot of thinking. A lot of you may be possibly conflicted as well, whether or not you want to reach back out. So I'm seeing that there seems to be some sort of blockages in the communication or some sort of confusion with communication for whatever reason. Now, the signs that are mainly coming out for you, Leo, is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And yeah, that's pretty much what I'm getting. Um, I do also feel like someone is being very emotional around you. Someone maybe possibly want to get something off of their chest. Someone maybe possibly has something that, some sort of news or message that uh, may make you feel good, meaning that whatever that they're explaining or expressing to you is going to give you like a boost of confidence or is going to boost your self-esteem. So I do feel like someone may be possibly pouring their heart to you or possibly um, finally telling you what they really feel is what I'm going to feel, Leo. Um, I do also feel that there's something about you possibly either moving or there may be possibly traveling. Um, I do feel that there seems to be like you moving forward with something that you've been thinking long and hard about. It could be possibly some sort of opportunity that may have been given to you as far as your career, or this could be possibly an opportunity or some sort of like a, um, what is it? Like um, a new idea. Like, having some sort of new idea and finally deciding to move forward with it. And whatever this idea is, whatever you've been kind of, like, pondering and going back and forth and, like, back and forth with, um, I feel that um, it's going to work out in your favor. I feel like with the Page of Cups here, that's something, whatever is being presented to you, whatever um, opportunity that's coming in, um, whatever, whatever conf like, you feel, conf like, conflicted about it, I feel like you're still going to decide to move forward with it. A lot of you, this is the best decision for you. Um, so I don't see anything not going in your favor. So I don't feel, I don't know, maybe you're just self-sabotaging yourself. Or it could be possibly like you um, keep second-guessing yourself. Yeah, I finished Leo, right? Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, let's do Virgo. deck is the six of wands all right here we go you have the knight of cups the fool and the three of wands all right so this is what i'm getting for you virgo i'm getting that you're going to be receiving a lot of communication um and it could be from a uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, I feel like a decision is going to be met. Also, be careful that someone is not coming into your life to emotionally manipulate you or from so some sort of sexual gratification because I feel like someone may be possibly coming in to kind of tell you how they feel, but I feel like it's more so to kind of more so manipulate you. Like, or maybe you're just, they feel like you're easily manipulative or ma not manipulative, but easily manipulated. Um, and I do feel that someone may be possibly reaching out to you, but I feel like you are trying to kind of put your foot down or you're trying to more, more so stay away from this person. Now I do feel like there's going to be some sort of travel plans coming up for you, Virgo. You guys may decide to take some sort of trip. And I feel like once you're on some sort of trip or you're away, I feel like you are kind of like, um, you're kind of like shutting the world off, like take, like shutting off social media, not responding to phone calls, not responding to texts, um, not responding to emails. <laughs> so I feel like you're completely like winding down, shutting off, going off grid when you go on, when you decide to go on some sort of vacation or some sort of trip. So I, and I feel like you're need, you're wanting that, you're wanting to be left alone, you're not wanting to be bothered. A lot of you may be possibly isolating yourself as well, and not being like very communicative or very um, social with your friends. Um, and it's because you're wanting to be left alone, like you're not wanting to deal with anyone. Um, a little bit. I'm not getting like, I don't have the hermit here, but I'm getting like your that energy from that card though, like. Trying to separate yourself, trying to like go into hermit, hermit mode is what I'm getting. Um, yeah. That's what I'm getting for you, Virgo. I just feel like even like now you're just like <laughs> not wanting to be bothered by anybody or to be told what to do. All right, let's do Libra. Libra. Okay, I don't take four cards, but okay, we'll do it. <laughs> so I have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so for Libra, you have Temperance, you have the Nine of Wands, you have the Queen of Cups, and you have the Sun card. All right, so what I'm seeing is that there seems to be a lot of you trying to balance your energy, uh, meaning that you're kind of more so reserving all of your energy at this point, um, not feeding into other people's energies, not really wanting to um, take on anything like meaning like let's say people who emotionally dump on you you're like nope you're putting a boundary there i just feel like a lot of you are like really wanting to secure your peace or really trying to cultivate some sort of peace in your life um i feel like you might go away to do this i do also feel like many of the signs that are coming out around you are aries leo sag but i'm also getting um cancer pisces scorpio but a lot of fire and a lot of water um i do also feel that for those who are go going through some sort of like business woes meaning that 
maybe your business isn't doing so well right now i feel like that is just a phase um and the reason why i say that is because i feel like you've been investing into something and it doesn't even have to be a business it could be a relationship it could be anything but maybe something that you've been putting a lot of time and attention or energy into is not um giving you back the Something that you've been putting a lot of time and energy to, maybe you're not reaping the benefits of it just yet, um, and you're just thinking, like, why even bother? But I feel like Spirit is mainly telling you, like, kind of, like, hold on. Like, hold on. Something is about to happen or being prepared to happen. Sorry I keep stopping. The reason why I keep, <laughs> the reason I keep stopping is because I feel like there's so many messages I have to say, and I'm trying to kind of, like, prioritize them because, like, obviously can't go long so long, right? Um, but I feel like there seems to be like happy days are going to be coming. If you're wanting some sort of offer coming in from a fire sign, I do feel like that is happening for you as well. This is someone who could be, um, a little impulsive, but I do feel like this is someone who loves hard or this can be someone that is going to pour into you. If you're wanting to kind of, uh, be with someone who's just a lot more emotionally mature, um, I do also feel like there could be someone that is coming in as well wanting to be a little bit more a little bit more amicable amicable I could talk today a little bit more amicable with you meaning that they want to fix things with you or they're wanting to more so um, make things work with you so this could be possibly someone from your past all right let's get into Scorpio all right Scorpio Somebody's grieving. <laughs> Someone feel like they messed up. Some sort of regrets. Okay, so I'm getting the Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck for you, Scorpio. So I have the Seven of Pentacles. I have Justice. And I have the Temperance card. All right, so what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio, is that there may be, <laughs> that's so funny, sorry, um, something popped up on my mic. Um, I heard that um, somebody, <laughs> somebody wants to spin the block, um, meaning that someone is wanting to revisit the past. Um, I feel like someone is claiming that they have changed I'm feeling that someone is also saying that um, they're wanting to make things work or to fix things or to move, to just start off as just either friends or someone wants to make things right. They want to make up is what I'm getting. Um, I do also feel like someone has been planning on doing this for a very long time. I don't know if this is you that's doing this Scorpio or this could be possibly someone doing this to you. Um, many of the signs that are coming out for you are Sagittarius. I'm getting Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, I do feel like if you're going through like divorce or a separation, I feel like there's or even like um, child support, I feel like someone is um, granted or receiving some sort of funds. So someone is being paid out is what I'm getting. Or someone is getting some sort of money that was owed to them. So I do feel like if it's like child support again, I feel like someone is getting their money or some whatever back payment. Someone is receiving that. I do also feel that... Um, if you're going through some sort of legal or some sort of legalities, um, I feel that, meaning let's say you're going through that separation and divorce, I feel like you both are going to part ways um, amicably or you guys are going to part ways, part ways with peace. So something seems to be like break, even if, of course, this could be a breakup. Like if you're going through a breakup, I feel like you both are just going to decide not to talk anymore and decide not to be friends anymore. It just seems to be like some sort of like, not ghosting it's just like two people are in an agreement that we don't want to talk anymore we don't want to speak anymore like we're not interested or we don't want each other in our lives anymore 
So I feel like that is what's happening, some sort of breakup or some sort of separation. And someone may have been thinking about doing this for a very long time, like I said. Sorry guys, I'm back. My camera didn't have any space. Um, but for you Scorpio, I just feel like you guys may be going through some sort of separation, some sort of breakup. But again, you have been thinking about breaking up or separating from this person for a very long time. Or it was always in the back of your mind. So something is just like, I knew it was coming type of situation or like having some sort of deja vu about a situation um so that is for scorpio so let's get into sagittarius all right sagittarius All right, we have the four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. All right, so I have the five of cups, the knight of cups, and the page of swords. All right, so what I'm seeing is that there seems to be someone is, is grieving. Someone is also wanting to reach out or wanting themselves to be heard, but I feel like someone may be possibly ignoring the other person. Um, I feel like someone is also either possibly writing a book. It could be a, a book of their life. Um, there may have been some sort of trauma that may have happened in the past and now they're finally ready to either create a book surrounding their life, um, like a bio biography, or this could be um, someone maybe possibly speaking out or possibly using their voice um, over some sort of trauma or some sort of major life. Uh, this is like a major life struggle that they may have gone through. Like, I, I don't, it doesn't have to be like mental, physical abuse, but I'm just saying that there just seems to be like someone is kind of possibly getting over something and possibly using their voice to advocate, advocate for themselves and for other people. Um, I do also feel like Some, someone is going to receive some sort of news that's going to hurt or, or break their heart. Meaning that there may be possibly like, you might hear that you didn't get the job. You may hear that um, someone may have passed. You may hear that um, something didn't go in your favor. You may hear that someone is possibly, like through a grapevine, you hear that there seems to be some sort of di divorce or separation that may have gone on around you in your circle. But there just seems to be, it is, I don't feel like it's going to be like, it could be a... <sighs> It could be extreme. It could not be extreme. Um, I just feel like there just seems to be like you're going to hear something that has just kind of hurt your hurt your feelings or hurt you in some sort of way. So there's some sort of news or message that's kind of be gonna be coming out for you. Sorry guys, um, I'm just looking at this card. This card is like <laughs> I just feel like someone's getting some sort of bad news. Unfortunately. All right, let's do Capricorn. deck or the bottom of the deck I should say is judgment all right oh my god the five of cups is back <laughs> what the fuck is, excuse me I'm, I'm trying not to curse what the hell is going on <laughs> all right so you have the what is this queen of wands such a beautiful card um 
you have the death card and you have of course i just said the five of cups i feel like everyone's getting the five of cups like what is going on all right i'm so sorry capricorn Ugh, my camera overheated um so I'm also seeing that Capricorn, you might be dealing with an Aries Leo Sag. I'm also getting Cancer Pisces Scorpio. There seems to be some sort of judgment or there seems to be some sort of decision that someone has made. Uh, I do feel like there seems to be something ending with a fire sign if you are dealing with a fire sign or Scorpio. Um, I do feel that someone may have not wanted something to end. And I feel like someone is possibly... Um, really upset that someone is deciding to move on or someone is trying to go in some sort of different direction meaning that after some sort of separation or breakup i feel like someone begins to thrive um i feel like someone starts to put a lot of time and attention and energy into themselves and they're either beautifying themselves on the outside or this can be someone that is elevating in life after a breakup so something may have been some sort of blessing in disguise or once you decide to leave someone i feel like someone just gets some sort of ultimate glow up so i feel like someone is possibly having that ultimate glow up and the person that they may have been previously with is kind of like grieving or kind of possibly feeling like they missed out or made some sort of wrong decision so that is what i'm getting for you capricorn so let's get into pisces I have the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So what I have for you, Pisces, is the Emperor, the Seven of Cups, and the Page of Swords. All right, so what I'm seeing is that there seems to be some sort of confusion. Um, someone may be possibly trying to mislead you or purposely trying to throw you off um emotionally um i feel like someone may come into your life and by them coming into your life it is throwing you off emotionally or making you feel out of whack so there seems to be some sort of an element of surprise or something about you not expecting some sort of news or some sort of message or either some sort of person coming into your life as well now this can be like family maybe family is visiting maybe family are coming into town maybe you're going to be celebrating something or maybe possibly a milestone so i do feel like there's going to be some sort of unexpected guests coming into your home or there's going to be some sort of unexpected um news about something that's going to make you happy now i do also feel like there's going to be some sort of traveling a lot of you are biting off more than you can can chew um so there is something about you having to put things into perspective so that you don't spread yourself too thin because i do feel like there seems to be like you taking on too much like putting too much on your plate and i feel like there's going to be some sort of either like a falling out or you're just feeling emotionally exhausted or just maybe energetically drained as well so just be mindful of that. Be mindful of your energy around this time as well because I do feel like you guys are coming off as very drained or just kind of coming off as very stressful um, or there can be some sort of anxieties that may be going on as well. Oh my God, guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my God, it's my laptop. Oh my God, sorry. Um, I do also feel that you're having to express yourself at the, at this time. If you're needing help, express that. If you're feeling lost, if you're feeling conflicted, if you're feeling any type of energy that does not serve you, it is saying for you to kind of speak up and to kind of use your voice or to advocate for yourself. Because I do feel like there seems to be like a lot of you might be going um, through a lot mentally or emotionally, um, feeling lost, trying to figure out what, trying to figure out what, your journey is to possibly um, so there seems to be a little bit of confusion that may be going on around you around this time Pisces so let's look into Aquarius all right let's look into Aquarius
Okay, you have the death card at the bottom of the deck. So let's look into Aquarius. Alright, so you have the Knight of Pentacles. You have the Ten of Cups. And you have the Eight of Wands. What I'm seeing for you, Aquarius, is that there seems to be some sort of news or some sort of message that's going to be coming in that's going to make you happy. There seems to be some sort of ending, though, so there may have been you having to let go of something so that something new can come into your life. I do feel like there's going to also be multiple streams of income coming in for you as well. So this all looks good. Since the Ten of Cups is at the heart of your reading, I just feel like all of your manifestations or the things that you've been wanting are going to manifest for you. And I do feel like things are going to start getting off the ground for you. I do also feel like you guys are pouring more into yourself instead of pouring um, into others. Um, I do also feel like a lot of you are creating boundaries and creating a safe space for you to kind of flourish. So I do feel like there seems to be some sort of new exciting things that are happening for you, Aquarius. Um, I do also feel like there is some sort of like ultimate happiness uh, meaning that you guys are getting exactly what you feel like you deserve um just things just just seem to just kind of like happen for you or just fall into your lap so our opportunities just seem to just fall into your lap so i do feel like overall there seems to be some sort of shift that came into your life whatever again whatever has ended was some sort of blessing in disguise for you and i do feel like this is going to be a monumental moment in your life so occurs i don't have anything else to say like this looks, <laughs> this looks really 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 good so this is all that I have for you guys today. I'm back, you guys. I'm taking readings and I'm taking clients. So please book with me. Um, I love you guys clearly. I love you guys so much. I'm just happy to be back. Make sure you do subscribe and like this video. And rep, like, rep your, your zodiac sign down below because I want to see y'all emojis. Um, and plus, that helps the channel as well. Um, I do have an online store if you do want to shop with me that will be linked down below and also join my Patreons where you guys can kind of see these videos first before everyone else. And um, that's pretty much it, you guys. I love you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.